right, if you saw my last video, you know that water temps were too cold to throw topwater baits for speckled trout. That will definitely not be the case today. We had a fairly mild weekend. It's now Monday. The temperature is 65 degrees. So I'm betting that water temp is going to be in the 60s. Should be prime for throwing topwater baits. And that's the plan for today. Not saying we won't do anything else, but that's going to be the number one goal. Meeting my good longtime fishing buddy, Jonathan Ryan. I'm early, of course, I always am, but he should be here shortly along with uh, the sunrise. And then we'll be on our way with our sights set on some big blow ups on topwater baits. Let's see what happens. Jonathan and I made a quick run. We're on site and conditions are really good. We got a southwest wind, not an ideal wind, but it's really not blowing very hard, maybe about five knots. Water in here is absolutely gorgeous. Sunrise. So we're just gonna make a long drift through here, throw in top water baits and see if we can get some blow ups. Jonathan fished just a couple of days ago. Now he didn't catch any fish on top, he really didn't throw it but he had great success and caught a limit of speckled trout doing some different techniques that we're certainly gonna fall back on if this topwater thing doesn't work out, but I really have a suspicion that it is. Water temp is, Jonathan, you got a gauge? Yeah, top left. Oh, I see it. 68.1, you gotta love that, right in the sweet spot. What is that, a badonk a donk Yeah, I think you gave, I think you gave me this. Could have. I think maybe you gave me one and then I, uh... You liked it? I bought another one because yeah. it was so productive for me. Tofield's favorite. Dude, I was I was just I couldn't I couldn't believe the fact that Oh there he is. There he is. Not a bad fish. Definitely not a bad fish. You know the color, green bone chrome. Yeah, he's not that big. But he's not bad. There we go. He's not bad. Good start to the morning. Chunky trout. He's probably 17 inches, I guess. He's, you think you think that big? Let's see. We'll look. Man, nothing like it. Top water fish. It does not get any better. Let's see how long he is. Well, he's uh, 17 and a half. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, oh, Must be swimming at me. Either that, he's not very big. Well, he's not as big as the last. But I will take him. Sorry to ruin your day, little buddy. All right, come on, dude. Seriously. You can tell the water's warm. Acting stupid like that. Show me how it's done, I guess. Two blow ups, two hookups. That's unusual. This episode of Marshman Masson brought to you by Puglia Sporting Goods. One stuck it. He, I just didn't get a good hook set on Oh, there he is. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was awesome. Look at that. Man, I'm telling you, they are clobbering this top water today. Come on this side. You want to come on this side? Yeah, I got you. Oh, it's a red? Is it? Yep, it is redfish. What is a red? <laughs> we just talked about it. I don't think he's a legal he's fish. Oh, there he is. Hit the bone, but donk a donk. Better not be another redfish. It is a red. What are you doing, bro? Dude, the reds want the donk. Oh, did he hit it? <laughs> yeah, he hit it, but he missed it. I think that might have been a red. If that was a trout, that was a nice trout. That was a serious explosion. Oh, you saw him. You, you saw him come all the way out the water. Oh, you saw him. Oh, you 
son. Oh, you son. I think your initial splashdown draws the fish in. Like it's so common where you get a hit on like your first two or three twitches. Yes. It's almost like if you don't get it there, I mean, you got a chance, but. Yeah, you can always get the random strike, but I think right. statistically, I think you're right. As soon as you put it on the water column, your first couple pulls. Right. Dude, are you kidding me? All right. Good fish, good fish. I'm not horse. I'm not horsing you. I felt that hook slip, but I think the other one got him. He's not that big. I thought he was a lot bigger. Not big at all. Get in the boat. Perfect. I mean, not big at all. I'm thinking 12 inches when you say that. That's... Good solid keeper. I mean, he's not really looking. But the way he hit, man, I thought he was big. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right in the sweet spot. Stay on, stay on. to meet with me man stellar morning jonathan and i have about 15 speckled trout in the box every single one caught on top water baits it just does not get any better than that just so much fun we're going to transition now though and go fish some area bayous go exploring jonathan's boat has a jack plate on the back so he can really run into some shallow water he does it all the time his favorite thing to do is to Sight cast of redfish in really shallow water. Not gonna be doing that today though because it really clouded up. And so many of these areas are just so loaded with trout. Jonathan said when he fished Saturday, he literally could not get out of the trout. Everywhere he went, he caught them. So that sounds pretty good to me. So we're gonna throw soft plastic baits on jig heads, see if we can find some, some bends and bayous, whatever. Just go exploring and see what we can catch. Put the cherry on top of what already has been an awesome day. This episode of Marshman Masson brought to you by Matrix Shad and by Magnolia Vodka, and by Cito New Orleans, and by Versamax Quartz, and by Death Grip Jig Heads. Ooh, I gotta make some we just got in this bayou. We got a few in there, drifted. Yeah, we caught something in there. All right, thanks. <laughs> All right, so Jonathan and I hit one bayou and skunked. We've got one bite, and now we've come to a different one that neither of us has fished before. You never fished it, huh? Nope. It's got about four and a half feet of water where we are right now, so we like our chances. Water's gorgeous, and the tide is rising. Yeah, I mean, you look at that bank. It's, it's moving pretty yeah, good in here. Yeah. yeah. Teal. Blue wing teal. Look at that. Oh. 
Yeah? There you go. Yeah, it's a red. Oh, it's a trout. It's a trout. There we go. All right. It's a bayou start. See that little bend like this coming up? You'd think that'd be good. Yeah. Five feet where the boat is. That bend looks good. I'm coming up to fish with you. Got to be fishing this little bend. I'd bet your boat. <laughs> I wouldn't bet mine, but I bet yours. I bet you would. <laughs> Ooh, there's another pretty bend coming up up there. See we got to catch something in this one, though. That has to happen. Oh, I mean, I knew they had to be there. Yeah. Good trout. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> I did my best to lose him. Pick that fish up. He's like, excuse me, I'm dying down here. It, what do you think the depth is right here? Dude, look at the gator up on land. Swimming off. What, seven feet? <laughs> Nailed it, seven feet. It can't, I'm surprised I, it's that deep, to be honest. I mean, as soon as I see alligators, I know it's... Yeah, it's got some depth, right? I got an idea of how deep it's going to be based on an alligator. Tell him. I got him from... Uh, There's a fish! There you go. It makes sense. He's right on that ledge. Yeah, right on the compression. All right. Yeah. Good solid trout. 15, 16 inches. Take that. Boy, he took it deep, too, Jonathan. Look at that. Come on, come on up here. Oh, there he is. Yep. <laughs> Dude, the beauty of braided line, huh? Oh, yeah. I mean, I was scratching my neck, just cast. Sensitivity. Definitely not a position to set the hook. There he is. All right. Uh-oh, I was bragging on that death grip. It hasn't slipped. See, your, your, bait will, your, death grip. your bait will tear up before it slips. Look at that. Are you kidding me? It's crazy, huh? Too many bites. There he is. Dude, there's some fish in this little stretch. That one's got some guns. You got spy lockers? I don't know if you... You see this pole? Man, dude, ferocious. Dude, all these bayous are so full of fish, it's incredible. Like, this is this is an odd pattern, really. I mean, you know, we're fishing three to five foot deep bayous. Oh, they're even, yeah. Well, what are we in right now? Well, maybe, maybe seven. Three to seven foot. Yeah. Oh, the back of the boat's in three right now. The back of the boat? Yeah. Missing the channel. No, two and a half. Channel's yeah, channel's back. You can tell by the way that trap is. Probably not on bottom. Just Bad time. All right, here we go. Give him here. I'm already dirty. Thanks, Cap. You got it. Hey. Tail walking. Get in the boat. Walk him aboard. That bait looked good, didn't it? Didn't it look good? <laughs> there we go. I don't need the limbo. Lemon head. Yeah. It's a giant. <laughs> Congratulations. I think he's gonna make it. I think yeah, he is. He's gonna make it. What do they have to do? Dude, he ripped a rod out of my hands. He didn't even give me a chance to feel him. You didn't reach bottom, huh? No. 
No, I just threw out. <laughs> He's like, oh no, you're not getting away. You my lunch. Double! That's a double. <laughs> Number 30. There he is. That was such a subtle strike. Just a little tick. No, so my, man, that's a good trout. Whew! King Kong! That's a good trout. That's a good trout. That's the fish of the day, I think. Big boy! All right, fresh water gets a bad rap here in South Louisiana. Mississippi River right now is sky high, 17 feet at the New Orleans gauge. We've got river water coming into all these marshes all over the place, some through crevasses, others just curling around from the passes back into the marshes. But as I mentioned in the last video, if you can get away from that muddy water, the fish this time of year don't care about the salinity of the water. They're not spawning yet. They're trying to fatten up for the spawn. As a crow flies, we're probably eight miles or so from what's called Mardi Gras Pass, a big crevasse, big crack in the river levee where water is just flooding into these marshes. And we're catching speckled trout like this. Only in South Louisiana. I'd never live anywhere else. Dude, that was Right, so this is the pattern Jonathan and I are fishing today. We're just kind of bayou hopping and I gotta admit these bayous are not very impressive. Some of them are kind of washed out three to six seven foot depths and these fish are not concentrated. Most we've caught in one spot is maybe eight maybe ten at the most. We're just moving along catching one two three and moving along some more. It's just a fantastic pattern and we're really accumulating some fish. We're getting very very close to our limit but let me show you what these bayous look like. That right there is typical. Typical with. And I'd like to say the fish are most concentrated in the bends, but that really kind of hasn't been the case. Just random scattered throughout many, many in the straightaways as well. So man, this is just a great pattern for this time of year. 30 years ago, I used to fish with a guy named Paul Oliver and this is how he fished. This is how he fished every spring, period kind of gotten away from it but it's just such a fun pattern very very productive you want to look for bayous that have clean water moving water and grass and we're definitely seeing some bait in these ponds now we're not seeing any shrimp too early in the year but we're seeing tons of little river shad they're just scattering everywhere plenty in here for these fish to eat and this is definitely the pattern that is producing right now oh there we go big fan of catching fish like this you got a red fish? i think i do that's a trout. It's a nice trout. Look at this guy. Bro, get him in. <laughs> Look at this trout. Holy. Look at this. <laughs> Ooh, that is a monster. That's a good fish. <laughs> That's a 20 inch fish. Easy. Yeah, he's at least 20. I think he's maybe 21. Oh my, dude. Yeah, I thought he was a big red. Stud. I thought he was a big red. Look at this guy. See how long he is. I'm going to let this fish go. I don't want him. 22. 20. No, he's 20. Yeah. Dude, that's, a that's a good fish. All right, we're going to let this gorilla go. Swim off, baby. Is that a bad? That's a Big that's trout. A there we go. Just silly. Silly. So deep. No chance of losing this guy. Oh. 
I lost mine. <laughs> we had a double, Jonathan. I blew it. I didn't live up to my end of the deal. All right, so that's if you get him in, that's number 49. Good fish. So now we got it's a race to get number 50. <laughs> I'm glad you're distracted. I'm glad you're distracted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want one right by the boat, huh? Oh, there he is! Oh, bad news, Jonathan, bad news! Oh, he's, he's flipping and yeah, he is. He's trying to get free. Oh, real slow. Give you a chance. Oh, number 50. All right, well, Jonathan and I have a limit of speckle trout cooling in the ice chest. But this guy loves to sight fish redfish, and that's what he's doing now. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the Marshman Massaw channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Massaw. But right now, it's time to feed the pelican. Relentless.